Hey guys, Steven Universe Recap Vlog. Today's episode is We Need to Talk, but first, we need to talk. I've recently called the Ronaldo episode that recently happened a dud out of the Steven Bomb Week, and a few people kind of got mad at me for that. I didn't enjoy the episode. A lot of people said it wasn't because it didn't have dark and creepy storylines or action-packed, and that's not the case. I enjoyed today's episode a lot, and it's not dark or action-packed. It's just a really good story with a lot of really good character moments. Ronaldo's episode didn't. It did have some funny moments, and I'll admit I did enjoy little bits and pieces of it. But as a whole, it didn't really bring anything new to Ronaldo, to the Crystal Gems, or the universe's Steven Universe. It just didn't... It just feels very pointless, and it might be because Ronaldo's arc wasn't really that strong to begin with. It's really flimsy and just doesn't make for a good episode for me. I just felt like it was a little pointless, and that's okay. We can have difference of opinions. The weird thing about those is, opinions are your own. You're allowed to have unique ones. It seems sometimes on the internet, if someone doesn't agree with you, it's it's the worst thing ever, but it's okay, guys. Anyways, today's episode, we need a talk. In the episode, Steven and Connie dance and accidentally fuse into Stefani. Greg sees it for the first time, and Connie gets a little, like, worried that he's going to tell her parents, but he's like, no, no, look, I understand Fusion. Let me tell you about the time I first saw Fusion, which we cut back to the 80s. And in the 80s, we see that Greg, Rose, Garnet, and Amethyst are creating a music video for an awesome duet between Rose and Greg. This is the duet that we've been waiting for for a while. Behind the scenes, we were told that they filmed one, and so it's exciting to finally see it. During the video, Pearl decides to fuse with Rose, not to make the video better, but to rub into Greg's face that he will never be able to get that type of closeness with Rose. This makes Greg a little insecure, so he goes to Amethyst and Garnet to get some advice on how to fuse with Rose, but he can't because he's a human. He gets a little discouraged, but decides to try anyways, and instead he finds out that they're both really confused about what their future is, which by the way... Rose makes a really funny joke. Oh, talk to Garnet because future vision. <laughs> it's really funny. It was a nice little, like, it was a throwaway line, but it was hilarious. In the episode itself, while they're really confused about what exactly is going to happen to them, they know that they're, they're meant for each other. Plus, Greg lands a kiss on Rose, and her starry eyes are the best. And this episode really captures what it's like to talk to someone that you really like, but you don't know how to really approach them. This They, they capture those little moments so well. This episode's so good because there's so many character moments. And I know this episode's definitely going to feel some Pearl hate because uh, she's definitely a bitch in the episode. But keep in mind that it's relatable why she's acting out. She's doing this stuff because she's defensive. Because the girl that she likes, likes this boy, and she's super jealous. And that's a human emotion. It's funny, for these things supposed to be aliens, they're very human in how they act. Except for Garnet and Onion. But I, I like it. I, I know a lot of people don't like Pearl a lot. In fact, most people I talk to seem to really dislike Pearl. But I love her, only because she causes so much drama in how raw and how jealous and just how much her emotions gets caught up with her versus like garnet who throws really great one-liners up until recently garnet didn't really have a lot of personality a lot of plot lines with garnet just didn't really they fell flat with pearl there's always some emotion and some people find that awkward i find it great television and always makes me happy this episode itself was fantastic i really love rainbow quartz oh my god do you see the 80s glam in that character design so good i love 80s glam uh, and that sex a dance uh but yeah overall i really enjoyed this episode i think this is a really good greg and connie episode as well uh just in general there's just a lot of good character moments and that's what i love about the tv show not the action-packed stuff not the dark storylines those obviously help because i'm an adult and i enjoy those things but the character moments were the these things these little moments like this is what makes us care about the characters so much and this is what's going to make this show last so much longer than other tv shows it's because we deeply invest our time in these characters and this wouldn't be like this if every episode was a ronaldo episode so that's all i gotta say about that matter and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys tomorrow for the last of the stephen bomb 2.0